Hey guys, so this is the makeup look that I've got today and this is what we've got going on burgundy with a cut, dramatic cut crease which I love it, it just looks really nice. I'm still getting used to cut creases because I don't do them but yeah this is the look that you're going to see today and let's get to it. So guys, first of all I'm going to start on the eyes, I don't know what kind of look, I've got an idea of a look I want to be doing, I don't know how it's going to pan out though, so hopefully it looks sick, I definitely am going to be using this, so this is like the key point to it, but you know, and I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette as well, and the Laurie Lee palette as well, because I feel like I can do some purplies in here, and then do it with a dark burgundy lip, okay, so I know some of you would like a burgundy lip, I've never done burgundy, I don't think I've done burgundy lips before, so we're going to see how this goes. So first of all, I'm going to put some concealer onto my eyes and then powder them and then that's it. Okay, so I'm going to bring closer to do the eyes. So I don't have a, a really good lens, I need to get a better lens for what I'm doing now, but let's conceal these eyes. I'm just going to pot some concealer all over my eyes. And I'm going to blend it down, put, put it down. The concealer I'm using is just a Jure concealer, basically. That's all I'm using, Jure uh, Ultimate Cupboard or some shit like that. Okay, so now, now I'm going to powder the top of my, just the top of my eyebrows. No, top of my brows just to set them because that's how I always do it. I sometimes use a top shaped type. Sometimes I use a Jure concealer. I don't care what powders I use as long as my top and everything and my lids are kind of good. So yeah. That is the eye primer sorted to a T. So now I'm going to get a brush. I don't know what types of brushes I'm going to get. So I'm just going to get this one just to do the tra traditional transition. And I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. The names that are the names and the colours that I'll be using. If you have the Jaclyn Hill palette and want to know what colours I'm using, I will put the colours round right about here so you can know what I'm using. So let's get a thingy and let's go with the shade Silk Cream or something like that. So it's just the light transition colour, first of all to put into my crease. It's like the same color as my skin tone, it's like, it's like, I can't even tell because it's the same color, so I'm just gonna pop into two and blend that. So, and I don't know if this is gonna work, it's just a crease color, really. Looks like she's cut the lid as well. Oh, I hate doing cut lids, crease cuts. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a crease cut today. I've got no choice. And it looks like she goes in from light and then goes to dark brown, which is okay. Oh god, it looks like I need to put some tape on. Oh crap, I hate doing this. Okay, I've got some tape, so let's try this again, but with some tape um, onto the lids. Right, so that is the base. Now I'm going to go in with a darker colour. So I'm going to go in with a browny purpley colour. Oh my god, just gonna mix them two together. I'm just gonna put that into my crease just to darken it up. Oh this colour is really beautiful. Right, okay. back and forth with the first blend of colour brush I'm using. I'm going to use the Laurel Lee palette just to get a more cranberry shade um, called Kooky, just a cranberry shade from the Laurel Lee palette. Just to put that kind of in the outer corner but kind of in the crease as well. So. It looks softly but we're doing a cut crease so it's fine for now. So I think that just fits for now. That should look okay. You can't even see the perfectly shaped. Okay, now let's cut the crease. Oh god, I hate cutting the crease. Okay, my crease is cut very high. This is what I'm, this is what I was afraid of. I'm just going to pat it on my finger. Oh, this is something. This is something going to add a little powder on top. A little chic chic powder. A little chic chic powder. Just use a 
pad just to set it. Just to set it so it don't move. Okay, so this is a liquid glitter eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be so careful with this and just kind of put it onto my lid. I'm gonna put gold on top of this. I think I've got something somewhere. So I'm gonna take the Laura Lee palette and shove a gold on top of it. So I've got this Laura Lee gold in here, so I'm gonna take that gold and just shove it on top. Okay, and then I'm gonna shove more of that glitter on top. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work. I have no idea. I'm just like, oh my god, how is this going to work? I'm going to take a shade which is like a pinky shade and put it onto the outer corner. And shove the gold a little, this gold a little bit over the top. That's things like this. Okay, so I need a winged liner now. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So let's cut the crease on the other side, shall we? Right, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the whole set. I'm gonna do my face and I'm gonna come back for the bronzer, contour, blush, and lips, and you know, hello. I'll be back in a second. So guys, I've done my base, done my brows. Basically now I'm gonna do the under eye. So I'm gonna take the Dragon Hill cap palette and I'm gonna take some colors that we did for in the crease, you know? I'm gonna take the two shades that we used for in the crease, the light shades. I have got lashes on. I don't know what these lashes are. I think they're from Primark, I believe. Or they're from Exit Beauty. It's one of the two. Now I'm gonna take this colour and this brush and just dip in the palettes that I did and then I like myself a smoky eye. And this is quite dramatic eye. I'm gonna do it gonna get in a brush and take um my Laura Lee cat's pajamas and take that cranberry shade that we did have. Um, that you can't see anymore, but you can see actually a little bit, so I'm just gonna take some of that onto a brush and just put off the excess and just. And now I can put, I'm gonna get a inner shimmer color, which I'll probably go from the Jack and Hill actually palette for an inner shimmer color. Put that in the inner corner so you get a bit of, you know. Then I'm gonna put some mascara on the lower lash line because I can't, I have to have mascara. Okay, so these are the eyes. Like this, I'm gonna put gold right underneath the winged liner. Okay, I wish I'd done this before I put lashes on, but you know, you know. Okay, so it looks like that. If you can see that little sparkle there. So now we're gonna contour. It's gonna bring you out. There we go, so now I'm gonna contour using the Imagination palette. Gonna contour with this shade. Yeah, so some people don't contour anymore. And so I'm like, okay, that's weird. They just want a bronze. And they're on that, the patty of lips. More patty. Contoured. And I'm gonna bronze. I'm gonna bronze probably using this Hula. This Kika one. Oh, it smells, smells like chocolate. No, my little BND. You know, the blush I'm using is California. Okay, I know I'm obsessed with this guy, blush, but. It's actually really pretty. I wear it all year round and I don't care. I need to venture out some new blushes, which I will. So good now I have a highlighter. So the excess vision, I'm just gonna put some shades together. And put it on. Oh, yes, sorry, Bob. Okay, now it's time for the lips. I'm gonna bring you closer for the lips because it's time for the lips. This is the shade I'm going for. There's kind of burgundy shade this is from 
Primark. I got this in a set. Um, I didn't get it. Actually, my mum got this for me. And she got it in, got it in a set. It's going to line my lips, first of all, because it's a dark colour. I don't really want my... No, dark colour. I don't really want to get messy, you know, with this colour. So... Okay, there are my lips so far. Dark lips. I'm going to put this on top. I don't know how this is going to look all together. Hopefully it looks kind of nice. I like the colour colour combo to go with this. So. Mm -hmm. so this is the final look I have got. It is dark burgundy lips. I actually kind of like it. To say the truth, it's kind of nice. I like it. It's pretty. So you've got the... I'm going to bring you closer. So you've got the glitter underneath the eyeliner. You've got the cut crease, which I'm not a big fan of cut creases. I can't do it, but hopefully you do like it. Um, it's something different for me to do, you know, very different. I don't normally do kind of really dark, dramatic lips. I do dramatic eyes often, but not lips. But this is the final look. Hopefully you do enjoy it. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.